So these are the clinical trials which are useful in our day-to-day -day clinical practice which I have selected from reputed journals or conferences. These are the trials. There are some trials on coronary artery disease or antiplatelets like Pegasus TME54 on Ticagrelor in post-MI patients. There is meta-analysis on same subject, DAPT after myocardial infarction, cyclosporine to reduce reperfusion injury in STEMI, PROMIS trial, how to assess patient with uh, suspected CAD by CTNGO or by stress imaging. Two landmark trials on diabetes, MPRH outcome and TECOS trial on newer uh, molecules. Endovascular intervention in stroke, three trials were there. Should we give only l place or should we do interventional thrombectomy to improve the outcome? And tomorrow we'll discuss about sprint trial, very much, uh, I mean, talked about trial, landmark trial on hypertension uh, treatment goal, BP target should be less than 120 or no. What are the results? Lipid trial, improve it, PCSK trials, ODC and Osler and Vision trial. And some trials or some registry about uh, alcohol septal ablation in HOCM and what should be there for asymptomatic severe AS, current AS registry. So I'll go one by one. In patients with a history of old marker infarction, should we give dual antiplatelet drug beyond one year? We know that SES is there, we usually give DAPT for one year, but after that there is no trial which suggests that it should be given or what is the utility. So Pegasus TME54 trial was published in NEJM and this tried to answer this question. It was a multi-center randomized trial, very large trial, almost 21,000 patients with a prior MIB for one to three years, mean age was 65 and mean time since MI was 1.7 years. All patients were on good secondary preventive medications. Ticagrelor studied in two doses, 90 milligram BID, that is the standard dose, and lower dose to reduce the bleeding side effects, 60 milligram BID, and that was compared with placebo. Follow-up was for 33 months. Primary efficacy endpoint was composite of death, MI, and stroke, and secondary endpoint was TME major blood, as primary safety endpoint was TME major bleeding. Major bleeding was defined as intracranial hemorrhage, fatal bleeding, or hemoglobin drop more than 5 gram per uh, deciliter. What was the result? Both doses of Ticagrelor, 90 BD and 60 BD, were far, far superior than placebo. They reduced the composite of death, MI, and stroke significantly. All individual components of primary endpoint, that was death, myocardial infarction, and stroke, they were significantly better with Ticagrelor in both doses. But as expected, bleeding was more. TME major bleeding was significantly more compared to both the doses. Even lower dose was slightly better, but compared to placebo, there was significantly increased bleeding. But good news was this, that fatal bleeding or intracranial hemorrhage was no different than placebo. Even ICH or fatal bleeding separately also, there was no significant difference. So mainly bleeding was possibly GI, which caused drop in hemoglobin more than 5 gram per deciliter but at least fetal bleeding and intracranial hemorrhage was not increased. So message from this trial was that in patients with old myocardial infarction, which is more than one year old, treatment with ticagrelor significantly reduced risk of death, cardiovascular death, MI, and stroke at the cost of increased risk of major bleeding, but that was not fatal and there was no increased ICH risk.